First coined in 1908, the term stem cells has achieved a lot of buzz over the last 50 years. Stem cells may revolutionize our approach to healthcare, piquing the interest of scientists around the world. A stem cell is um, a cell which hasn't made any decisions what it would like to be when it grows up. So we all start out life as a stem cell and gradually as an embryo actually forms, cells get an education. Some of them decide they want to be brains, hearts, kidneys. Stem cells traditionally we've always looked in embryos for, which is making stem cells very controversial. But certainly over the last 20 years, the more places we look in the human body, the more places we find these stem cells. Stem cells are currently used to help treat well over 70 diseases. Harvesting stem cells from the umbilical cord after birth and storing them in liquid nitrogen is becoming increasingly popular. More recently, and probably one of the most exciting areas of regenerative medicine, is these stem cells actually make molecules which rescue damaged tissue inside the human body. So they don't just replace disease tissue, they can actually rescue damaged cells as well which increases their applicability in lots of areas of medicine. So for acute medical emergencies, as well as the more chronic degenerative diseases, these cells are proving very, very interesting indeed. The way to view the, the approach in cosmetic medicine is almost turning up you know, the volume on what is a natural repair process. The thing that maintains the skin you know, are stem cells. Stem cell research is making some of its biggest strides in the world of aesthetic medicine. Many physicians around the world are making use of stem cell technology to perform a whole range of non-surgical facial rejuvenation techniques. We age uh, via predetermined factors, which is genetically determined and environmentally determined. So we basically take people a few steps back in the aging process, but the actual process of aging we haven't managed to, to find the, the fountain of youth yet in our industry. Many parents around the world, including Dali and Rachel Tambo, are investing in the future by storing their children's stem cells at birth. I think it's part of the uh, forward march of science and human um, endeavor. And it seemed to me that it was a great investment in the future health of our children. It has incredible possibilities that really make you feel secure about the future of your child. It's like we invest in education for our children to arm them for the future. I would say you're investing in stem cells to arm your child for the future. The idea behind you know, banking umbilical cord blood and the cord tissue, in my opinion as a scientist, is a very, very sensible way to actually protect your child's future health and really the best insurance, health insurance you could ever get for your children. I want to live the best life.